Okay, so we got a Sennheiser E935 right there, and go ahead and test check it. Check one, two, check one, two. And over to the mic. Check one, two, check one, two. Obviously, you're not getting Sennheiser quality on there, which you wouldn't expect to from a wireless system, but not bad, pretty close. Good enough for uh, the local bar down the road. All right, I got the dual channel wireless microphone system. I'm a musician. I've been playing in bands my whole life. This was sent to me for evaluation purposes so I can show it to you. But all opinions are going to be my own. And I'm going to take this to band practice tonight. And I'm going to film some stuff on this. And we'll test it out a little bit. But I want to show you what you get with this. What I know about it. What I don't know about it. But I want you to have all the information that I have right here in front of me. First off, it came packaged really nice. And what I do like is it comes into everything came packaged with its own individual slots. If I test this out of practice for a couple weeks... If it passes the test for me, I will use this at a show. It's light. We can put this right in the rack with the PA system. And if that's the case, I'll actually get a briefcase and I'll cut this styrofoam down and set this thing inside of a briefcase. And I've already got everything individually packaged, which is awesome. Comes with a set of instructions on here. It's really not much to this stuff. Two different microphones. Each microphone works off of its own individual channel. Let me show you what you get here with this. So we have the two mics. They gave us a couple of windscreens, two windscreens. He gave us a cable to run as a line out if you want. There's actually a line out that you can run a quarter inch jack off of here, but there's also balance line outs for each of the individual channels, which is what we're going to be doing. We're going to run this right into a PA system. You want a balanced channel on it for me. And you've got four antenna slots on here in the back. And these connectors, super easy. You just put it on, snaps into place. Um, another thing I want to point out is that this runs off of 12 volt power. Now, most of your guitar pedals and stuff are going to be 9 volts. This runs off of 12 volt power. If you're a good musician, you're going to want to have a backup 12 volt adapter to go with this. You plug this in, you power it up. You got channel one and channel two. It feels good, high quality. It feels like a good quality microphone. It's very solid. You're going to need a larger microphone clip if you're going to put this on a stand because it's, it's definitely the larger variety. The microphone itself looks good on there. The screen itself looks good. You've got, like I said, you've got two windscreens if you want it. A couple features I like about it. This button in here is kind of recessed, so you can't you can't turn it on and off if you're grabbing it or if you drop it or anything. It's not going to turn stuff. You've actually got to press the button on here in order to activate that. And when you do, the channel on here turns white to let you know that it's lit up. So I know right now that I've got channel one on. It's it's set to channel 100, and the frequency on it is 554 750. I don't know if these are set solid. If I can change them around a little bit. But if you've got a wireless guitar system, wireless bass system, some other kind of wireless system, then you might want to make sure your frequencies are going to drive up. It runs on two AA batteries. And they've actually got this set up in here so you can't, you've got to actually remove this slider right here, slide this guy down, pop this off, oh, and the battery's inside of there. So again, with this slider, it locks it into place so that even if you drop the microphone when you're on stage, there's no way that those, that those batteries are going to pop out and it's not going to turn off on you. I think that's a great feature. Pretty awesome. you got some different settings on here. We'll have to play with this tonight. you got an on and off switch right here. And, you know, it's set up to be rack mounted. Now, it says this thing has a 500 foot range on it. Which maybe that's as the crow flies if you're outside and there's nothing in between you, the transmitter and the receiver. If you're playing in a bar or a club, I mean, what kind of range are you actually going to need? You know, 30, 50 feet tops? In my mind, it depends on how big the club is, how big the bar is. And for my stuff, local bars, that kind of thing, I need a 50 foot shot tops total. And I'm probably just gonna use these sitting on a microphone stand, so I can't imagine there's any problem not running around the crowd with them. All right, so I'm here at band practice, so we got this thing all set up. We got it set up. We got both microphones turned on right now. You can see because they're, they're turned white. What we did notice is this is the battery power indicator, which is pretty cool. So we got an RF signal indicator right here, and when he talks, go ahead and talk, say something, Andy. Check, one, two. Yeah, you can see that the audio meter comes up right there. So, pretty cool. Andy had the signal all the way in the other side of the basement and absolutely no, no cutout at all on the signal. Had to use a large mic clip for this, just to point that out. Sits on the, uh, on the micro nice on the mic stand. He's got his on his mic stand. But it sounded good so far, easy to set up. Just plugged in the, uh, the two balance jacks in the back, ran that out to this old PA. That was made back when um, President Reagan was still in office <laughs> and uh, looking That's good. Lovely. Okay, so we just had two and a half hours of practice. I want to point this out. He's using a Line 6. What, is that a Line sure. 6? A Shure wireless. I'm using this cheap wireless. And we still have full battery on both these after two and a half hours. No problems at all. So if you're looking for 
a wireless system for your basement, your karaoke, whatever. Check this one out. Bye. Micro Queen, check this one out.